Hi everyone and welcome to our Touch Base Thursday for December 1st. We are in December. I think it's official that we can actually start to play the Christmas music and get ready for the holidays. Although we did that a little bit um, over Thanksgiving Day weekend here at our house. But anyway, welcome everyone to my Facebook Live here. I'm just going to give it a couple minutes for you all to find me live before I go ahead and um, get started here with my um, awesome presentation I have for you tonight. So hi, Sonia, and welcome. Um, welcome, welcome. So again, as you're all starting to pop on here, um, we'll start in just a couple of minutes. Um, oh, and you already shared. I love it. Um, so anyway, welcome to December 1st, my first Thursday of the month um, for our um, time together. Um, yay, Marsha, you found me. And Shelby is here. And Susie. So welcome, everyone, as you're popping in. Um, so... Um, Burr here in Michigan. It's cold. I'm not sure if all of you are where you're at if it's cold or not, but we went from a warm week in November to our winter wonderland for a week, back to being nice for a week, and now we're back to being cold for a week. So anyway, it's been kind of crazy. But anyway, um, tonight I'm going to be sharing with you some 3D projects um, that I've created for my craft show. So this is what I'm calling my 3D projects take two because I know that you guys have already um, seen some of my projects from last week. But I do um, one craft show. Oh yay Judy you found me too. Yay! Um, I do one craft show um, a year um, and this might be my last year doing it. Well it will be. I keep saying might but it needs to be because there's so much work and I'm just way too busy to have the time to make everything and all that but I have been busy the last couple of weeks making things for a craft show and so last week I showcased some of the things that I've made and so this week I decided to um, instead of reinventing the wheel and making new projects I decided to just share with you some of the projects that I have been making for the last couple of weeks so um or the last week, I should say. Um, so anyway, excited for that. Now, all of the things that I'm going to be making, whatever is left after my um, uh, craft sale will be going for sale here on my Facebook pa page and my Facebook group. I'll be posting the, pro the, the product or the item and giving a cost associated for that. Now, the only thing I do want to make sure that you know is that some of the times um, I use, it's the same product or the same the same um, piece that I've made, but I might be using a little bit of a different color of paper because the paper pack has all those different coordinating colors. So you may not get the exact same color of the one that is shown, um, but I'll do the best I can with that. But I, it's just too hard to take pictures of all the different paper. When I pick a pack of paper and make a project, I use all the different designs from it, or at least two or three of them. But anyway, so hello to Shireen and Nancy. Hi, Nancy and Carol. Um, Judy, welcome ladies. I'm so glad that you're, you're joining me tonight. Um, I'm also then, after I do my 3D projects, going to be sharing with you a sneak peek of some of the new products that I was able to purchase as uh, as being an on-stage attendee. Um, a new product from our upcoming catalog um, that will begin here at the beginning of Janu January. I'm mainly going to be focusing in on the designer series paper, but you're going to want to come back for next week because next week I will be showcasing everything that I purchased on my pre-order, both from um, on stage event that I went to and just today. So as demonstrators, one of the perks that we get is we get to pre-order from the catalog a whole month early and that pre-order day started today. So I am, um, we ordered stuff today and of course I did second day shipping. So next Thursday will be my um, my um, sneak peek of all of the new product. So you're gonna definitely wanna come back for next week's um, presentation um, where I will show you the whole bundle. So tonight you're just gonna see some of the designer series paper. Um, Marsha, it is at the Renaissance School here in Mount Pleasant and the Renaissance School is located on Isabella Road. I think it's, or is it, I think it's Isabella Road. Um, so it's right in town um, on, um, on the east side of town um, at Renaissance School. So anyway, so next week you're gonna definitely wanna be here. Um, I've got, um, well, I'll have all the stuff laid out and we'll be showcasing it um, as fast as we can, but yet giving you plenty of time to see it as well. But I'm really excited for you guys to see stuff from the new catalog. Speaking of new catalog, before we get into other announcements and sharing, um, any of you who have put an order in with me over the last year, you should be receiving a catalog in the next week or two. Um, if you do not receive that catalog in the mail by December 30th, let me know and I will ship one out to you so that you have it in time for the catalog to go live. Um, I think it's on 
on January 4th. Okay, celebration will also begin then. There's an awesome join promotion. Um, so some of you um, who have been customers of mine, people who have been on my team before, you might be getting reached out to because it is an amazing promotion. Have to at least promote it and let you all know about it because it's pretty awesome. Um, so a few things and then we have announcements. So yes, this weekend is my craft show that I do every year. Um, and after that, I'll be selling all of the stuff that's left over here on my Facebook page, my Facebook group. Um, and how it works is if you want something, you claim it, you just say, I want one of these, or I want two of these or whatever, however you want. And then, um, I will ship them to you if you live long distance. Um, and then I'll just PayPal invoice you the cost of the shipping, but I will ship them as, best I can in if it fits it ships boxes and bags to keep the shipping um, cost minimal. Um, if you are local to the Mount Pleasant area, we can schedule a pickup for you to get your products, okay? But I will be selling everything. They're great stocking stuffers and great little things for grandchildren, all that wonderful stuff. Um, so the next couple of weeks are going to be really busy in my life as I work um, on getting all of my things done at CMU because I'm taking a couple of weeks off from my job. Well, the university closes for a week and I'm taking the week um, off before I'm off. And so I've got to get all my year end stuff done at my job. And I'm trying to get all of my Stampin' Up! kits and things sent out to all of you in the next week or two. Um, in addition to the fact that my girls are also in the Nutcracker performance again, that is going to be um, December 9th through the 11th. And I have, I'm volunteering they have um, asked for the parents to volunteer so I have to volunteer for some of that so it is going to be a crazy couple of weeks um, here in our house but um, it's all it's going to be fun I'm looking forward to a little bit of downtime as well so um, anyway but that is the announcements that I have with my girls they're just crazy busy with nutcracker stuff and um, they're both in it again this year so it is going to be awesome okay so if you shared my video you got entered into the drawing for a couple of awesome prizes I have the brushed brass butterflies and then I have a bolt of the black and white ribbon so yay right okay so the winner of the brushed brass butterflies is Marianne McGinnis so congratulations to Mary Ann um, she is the winner of the butterflies and then the winner of the um, do, do, do black and white ribbon is Shireen Gross. So congratulations to Shireen and to Marianne. So um, congratulations. Um, Shireen, I'll probably just get yours to you um, through your sister probably. And Marianne, yours will be in the mail to you. So congratulations. Um, if you guys share this week, you get my heart pearls or a bolt of the polished pink ribbon. Um, and I see we just have, oh, hello to Connie. Hi, Connie and Gail. Um, oh, hello, hello. Um, oh, yes, Judy, the Christmas concert. Yeah, I forgot about Claire's Christmas concert is going on too um, next week. Oh, yes. So, so one of, I don't think it's next week, but the following week. There's one week I'll be going live with you on Wednesday instead of Thursday. I'll let you know because of Claire's Orchestra Christmas concert. I cannot miss that. It's the orchestra concert band together. Um, so um, I will be going live with you on a Wednesday night that week. I don't think it's next week, but the the following I'll definitely let you guys know so that you're aware of that but um I I just I cannot miss those concerts I love them way too much I love all of you but oh those concerts are just beautiful um I just it amazes me how quickly um you know students um at the high school level can learn an instrument and just play beautiful music I just oh brings me to almost tears um, okay, so a few other things I have going on. If you guys didn't see the email today or the posts on Facebook, the clearance rack has been updated. Now, and I'm talking really updated. There's lots of awesome things out there. All of the in colors that retired, so you can get, um, I know I had a customer today get all five of the in colors that retired, the Bumblebee, Just Jade, um, all of them. She got, I don't think she, Misty Moonlight was there, but she got the in colors that re retired. Um, she got, um, there's also, I'm trying to think what else is out there, and they're not very, very expensive, but, um, so the clearance rack's been updated. Um, I put a link, a link out there for an, um, for you to order with a, a um, the link had the code built, built in, um, so feel free to take advantage of that. And then this is also, um, today posted the last chance products. So a lot of the products in our current holiday catalog, um, are on sale. Some of them as steep as 60% off. So lots going on with those two things. 
Um, and then of course for me, it was pre-order day. Woo, woo, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get my products. Um, so those I wanted to make sure you guys knew about. And then um, I have my some classes that are still open. Um, now I will tell you, all of my classes are planning to ship out um, in the next week or two. Um, even my ones for December will be shipping the week of um, the uh, whatever that Wednesday is, the 15th or 14th, they will be shipping out, okay? So all of you who are part of my club, I'm, I'm going to be bugging you for your club selections. I want all of the card kits and stuff out so that way you guys have them in plenty of time for the holidays. I still have my Gnome Home Decor class open, my Barn Home Decor class open. Some of those kits, if you've ordered them, will be going out tonight. Um, and then I'll be shipping them out as orders come in for those. But I do have a good number of those already cut. Um, and let's see here what else I have. Um, doot, doot, doot. Uh, other classes that opened up, um, they'll be in my email, the e my Friday tutorial email that you guys get. So if you haven't joined my mailing list, please make sure you do. Um, go to my website, kimsbasementbunch.com, and um, join my mailing list. There's a little link right there. Uh, but my two classes that are going to be opening up is my Joyful Flurry Snowflake class and also the Fitting Florets. The Fitting Florets class is new product that's coming out in the new catalog um, that is available for early release for all of you to purchase. And so I did a class with it um, for this month as well. And then December 5th, I know I'm telling you guys tons of information, I am doing a kit sale. So let me tell you how this kit sale goes. I have two and a half pages of leftover kits from this last year and a half, maybe even two years. Um, how it's gonna work, it's all of my kits are 10 cards, five designs, two of each one. I will list the names of the card, the, what I have available, and I'll show a picture, my collage pictures. Um, they'll be posted in an album on December 5th, and they'll be open for the whole month of December. The kits are gonna sell for $29 for the 10 cards. That includes the shipping um, to be shipped to you. Or you can get one of the kits for free with a $35 order. Now, if you put in a $70 order, you can pick two kits. And if you put in do the order option, I will ship the kits to you for free. Okay, but I'm looking at getting rid of kits. They need a good home. I, I have tons of boxes of them, um, but it's an awesome opportunity for you to get any of the kits that you've liked that I've offered in the past. Maybe some that you didn't have an opportunity to pick because you were like, oh, I can only get one, but which one? So you will definitely have the option to um, to take advantage of my kit sale. Okay, it's kind of like my end of the year kit sale. So I those will be posting. I, I already have my inventory. I just got to find my pictures. Those will all be posting out on December 5th with an order link as well for you to put in an order um, for whatever, however many kits you decide to purchase, okay? All right, so with that, who is ready for some 3D projects? I, I know I sure am. So you're going to see um, about, I think I have three or four projects here, and then we're going to take a, um, and I may not put them together in their entirety, depending on time. Um, be, I will I will go over measurements. Um, and I know last week's Facebook Live video, I did not get the measurements posted. I'm going to do both of them um, tomorrow, this one and the one from last week, so that you can make some of these awesome um, projects as well. Um, I just didn't have time this week. This, like I said, this craft show is a time um, a thief of time. How's that? It I mean, it's it's great. It's fun, but oh my goodness, does it take a lot of time to prepare for it? So, um, but I will I will definitely share all of my measurements with all of you as well. Um, but with that, I'm going to transition my camera down, and we're going to go through my projects. I'm hoping that you guys all like them, and then we're going to do a little sneak peek of some beautiful designer series paper. Um, all right. So with that, let me transition my camera down. So 3D projects, as most of you know, are not always my favorite thing, but I am going to do my best here with them. Um, let me make sure they're in the right wave here for you guys to all get a little sneak peek and to see them as I move my camera down. Oh, look at those. Aren't they adorable? I know, right? Okay, so here are some of my 3D projects that I have created. Um, additional ones um, in addition to the ones that you saw last week okay so these would make great stocking stuffers um, as well for all of you now I'm going to move them out of the way and I'll leave these ones here I think I'll start with that one um, and I'm going to move all the rest of them out of the way 
And I do have little post-it notes here with all the measurements, so I am gonna mention them as I go. Um, but again, I will do my best tomorrow. I will post them um, to my blog. I'll post them. Oh, and I'm crooked again. You guys know I don't like to be crooked. Why do I not pay attention to that sooner? Okay, there we go. Oh, I don't like that. Have to be straight or somewhat straight. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna be sharing with all of you tonight is this beautiful little box. Now this box is one of the dies that we sell. It is called the Cracker and Treat Box. Inside of this is a chapstick. So I just bought regular chapstick. Obviously you can't see them all because um, they're all packaged up, um, but look how cute that is. It's such a cute little packaging. And I have them done here up in different colors. Um, but these are the dies. So let me show you the dies. So basically what you're gonna do is you're going to cut out the die. This is the die right here. This is cut out using balmy blue and it's just the actual size here. Okay, and it automatically puts in all those score lines. Um, from there, you're going to fold in on all these different score lines, okay? So you just fold in and this one's gonna get folded over. Let me do that here real quick. I didn't do that one. Okay, so you're just gonna fold it all up and it just gets kind of put together like this. Okay, and I'm just kind of folding that in a little bit to give it a little bit of, of definition. So all you would do is you'd put some tear and tape along the side here, okay? And it literally would then come together like this. Oops, I wanna make it a box, bear with me here. There we go, okay, so you make it a box and then you're just going to pinch these ends. So imagine it's taped together. You pinch these ends and then you tie it with ribbon, okay? You kind of see how that just kind of goes together nicely? Now, the neat thing is with these dies, so again, I'm not gonna take the time to actually glue them together because again, you're just gonna do tear and tape along this edge right here and make sure it, tear, it, it gets um, stuck together. The other thing um, that you're gonna do, so with these dies, you can see here that you have all these little shapes. So you can pick on this one right here, um, this one right here has this shape on it and you cut them out all the different times for the sides that you, whoops, and I have a dimensional stick in there. And then you can decorate the front any way that you would like. So for this one right here, I um, used the other die. So this is this one right here with the stitched edging. And then you just put these around, you cut out as many as you want, and you put these around the side of your box, okay? So again, you get the gist of it here. And then on here, you can see that we have this little edgelet right here. So what you're going to do with your die is you're only going to cut out this little piece right here, okay? And then all you're gonna do is you're going to then take this and um, you can either use tear and tape, you can use dimensionals, you can use whatever you want, but all you do is start here and you just wrap it around these edges um, to give it again a little bit of a trim look isn't that awesome so cool to top this off um and these actually are ones that um that Kay made for my craft show so um and she prepped my little one to make again not taking too much time to actually make it but then with the sprig punch i think it's called this it used to be called the sprig punch i'm not sure if it's still called that now i still call it the sprig punch but it's this double punch in the annual catalog and you're just gonna punch it out with, um, you're just gonna punch it out with some of your dye, your whatever colors you want. And then you just adhere that down inside of here. Added a just for you with uh, another dye. Um, and voila, you have a cute little um, ch chapstick. Oh, Peggy, you like my hair better? On, with, you probably are used to seeing me with my hair up all the time, and I've been wearing it down the last couple. So today is a, I call that my cheat days when my hair goes up because I'm usually in a hurry to get to work. <laughs> but in Thursdays are my work days, which is why I'm normally, um, Thursdays I is an up, up due day. All right, aren't those cute? They're just so dang cute and so adorable, so easy. You can use any kind of ribbon that you'd like on these. So you could use, you know, um, here, here we use the uh, white or candy. Here we use the balmy blue. Um, so you can do anything that you would like to be able to make them. Okay, so that is project number one. So if you do not have the cracker and barrel 
um, dies yet. And you know what? I printed my dang host code and um, stuff and I left it upstairs. So I will make sure I post it in the description of my video. Or again, if you go, it's probably sitting on the printer. Um, if you go to um, my website, you'll see it right there. I did update it for December. I am on the ball for December. So I did update my host code um, just this morning. Um, so the other one is still working too. If you use the other one, it's completely fine. Um, but I do have the new one ready for the month of December as well. So anyway, cracker and treat box dies, and you could fit all kinds of different things in there. To me, chapsticks just work the best. And so that's kind of why I chose the chapsticks, um, to put inside of them. Now, the only thing I will tell you in order to get into these, you do have to cut off the, um, the little piece of, um, paper here, or the little ribbon right here and open it up to get into it so there isn't an easy way into them but I just love them aren't they just adorable okay so that is project number one project number two is my classic hot chocolate packet so last week I shared with you a hot chocolate packet um, using um, where it was actually like a pouch with an easel stand and this one is even easier to do okay this is just a card folded over making a pocket and adding in your um adding in your, um, your your hot chocolate packet. So um, this one right here, I use the Lights Aglow Designer Series paper. I know that paper is no longer available and I'm really sorry, a couple of you have asked me about it. Um, but I'm gonna actually showcase mine using the Painted Christmas Designer Series paper and show you how easy this is to make, okay? So I'm just gonna put one to the side. So you're gonna start with a piece of cardstock that is cut 11 by four and a quarter, okay? Then you're gonna score it at five and a half. So you're gonna score it like you normally would if it was going to be an open fold card like this. And then you're gonna score it again at nine and three fourths. And that's going to give you this fold down effect right here. Okay, so you can see that that's kind of how you make the little pouch. And then you're gonna have some designer series paper and some other cardstock. So this right here is cut four by four and it's going to go right here inside. And then I have a piece of another cards or designer paper that is three and three fourths by three and three fourths. So these I am gonna take a moment just to adhere together so you can kind of see how cool this goes together. So I'm just gonna adhere this. This is um, real red and I paired it with Blushing Bride since there's a little bit of that Blushing Bride look in there. And then I'm just going to adhere this down like this. So it's going to cover all that. And then this is going to get glued down as well. And then you have a four and a quarter by one piece of designer series paper. And this one I'm going to use the opposite side. So it gives me that beautiful little look. You see that? Okay. So I'm going to put the adhesive on this side. Adhere this onto here. Oops, this one goes all the way across. So I'm gonna start it back over here. It goes all the way across. And then you're gonna just adhere this down to itself. So you can see how quick and easy this one is to do, okay? And then you were just gonna tie some ribbon around it. So you literally tie ribbon all the way around it. And that's what holds it together. And then you can embellish it any which way that you would like to. And then it literally just holds um, candy cane or um, hot chocolate packet. So I, I like to get the Ghirardelli hot chocolate because I want this to be a little bit of a, you know, more of a top knot. So imagine the ribbon around there. And then this is going to just fit in here like this with a candy cane. And voila, you have your hot chocolate packet. Again, you can design it any way you want here on the front. Um, I just used some circles and added some different little sentiments. But how cute is that for coworkers or people maybe that you go to church with or neighbors or anything like that, okay? So again, this one is very, very simple and easy to do. And you can see how it just gives it a totally different look with using different designer series papers. Okay, so there is that project. Um, let me make sure I put this back in here. I don't want to break the candy cane. I try really hard not to break the candy cane, the candy canes. Um, but this is my go-to hot chocolate one because it's so easy to do and you can whip a bunch of these up together pretty darn fast. Okay. The other one I did last week is a little bit more time consuming and a little bit more complicated. All right. So there is that project. Let me also move these over to my chair. So when I go to get them at the end, you all can um, see them and I have to go reach and form. Okay, my next project is probably one of my most favorite projects. Now I cannot take the credit for this. 
this and I meant to look up the demonstrator who I got this idea from and I forgot to so I apologize but if any of you have seen this like I said I did not come up with this but I loved the idea and I had bought some of these little snowman Ghirardelli chocolates and so um, what I did is I went online and just searched for Ghirardelli chocolate holders um, stamping up and this popped up and so I kind of mimicked it a little bit um, and I loved how easy this is to put together. So for this one, and again, I gotta find my little cheat sheet. That's not the right one. Here we go, this is the right one. Okay, so for this one, um, I, I used, started off with a piece of, let me switch my projects up, with a piece of five by four and a half inch cardstock. Now, I, because I'm, I'm gonna be showcasing the blue one, but you can see what I did here. Um, these little Ghirardelli ch um, chocolate snowmen come in, um, you can get a bag where there are these three different kinds. So you get milk chocolate, milk chocolate caramel, um, or you can get a bag that are all just the peppermint and bark ones, okay? So what I did is you can see that I paired my little snowmen up to match the snowmen packages, or the snowmen on the packaging. So here the, it's got a red one and here it's a blue one. Isn't that just cute? I know, I love this one too. Now, the other thing that you could do if you wanted to is you could add a little sentiment here that says for you or whatever, but I liked the designer series paper being shown. I, I debated about adding something um, right before I went live and I'm like, no, I think I kind of like it just like that. Okay, so let me show you how easy it is to make these. So you start with a piece of five by four and a half inch um, cardstock. You're going to put the five inch side up at your trimmer and then you're going to score it at a half of an inch on both sides. So what I did is I put that in my trimmer, scored it a half an inch here, turned it on the other side, did it at half an inch here. Okay. Then you're going to put your four and a half inch side at the top and you're going to score it at one and a quarter and one and three fourths. Okay. And then you're gonna have these awesome score lines. Now, the other thing that I did, and I did this before I went live with all of you, but you can see here on my box, I had this cut at a little bit of an angle. Um, and you can almost see my pen mark that I have right here a little bit. But what I did is I took my ruler and I measured an inch and a half from, so you're gonna want the little the bottom of the, of the box on the far right, but I measured down from here to here an inch and a half on both sides. Can you guys see my little pencil marks right here? There's one right here and there's one right there, okay? And then all you're gonna do, now you could put this in the trimmer and line it up, but again, you guys, any of you that have been following me and you know me, I'm not that, um, that precise. So you're just gonna put your scissors on that point and you're gonna aim it at the start of that score line. Shoom, you're gonna just cut that at an angle, okay? And then you're gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna aim it down towards that. So I'm just gonna cut off those two little points. So again, if you want it perfect, perfect, you can put it in your trimmer, line it up, but no one's gonna be able to tell if it's not perfect, perfect, okay? From there, you're gonna fold in, oh, I did cut in on these little flaps. So on these little ones, you're going to cut in on the sides, okay? And then you're just gonna fold this up as if it was a cute, gonna make it a cute little box. You can see how easy peasy this is gonna be to put together. Okay, so you're just gonna fold in on all of those lines. And um, you, you probably would wanna take your bone folder, get some really good um, lines on this. Again, for purposes of my video, I'm keeping it kind of um, quick and easy. I'm gonna put these flaps in. So these two flaps are gonna go in. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of my liquid Tombow glue on top of those flaps. And that one I got a little too much on. And then I'm gonna add a little bit right here as well, okay? So you can see that I have the adhesive on those inside flaps, but here on the outside. And then all you're gonna do is fold this up like this. So you're gonna see that's gonna eventually adhere to the inside there. And this is going to wrap around, and I found it easiest to just do one side at a time. So this is just going to wrap around, and I held it for a little bit like this. And then you're gonna take something, um, like I use my take your pick tool or something, and make sure you tap that little tab in there to get it glued in, okay? You're just gonna hold it for you know 30 seconds or so. And then you're gonna do the same thing on this side. You're going to wrap this one around, and hold it. I found it really easy to just kind of pinch it together like this. And again, this time I've taken my pen in here and you're just gonna push that flap up. And what it does, if you can see in there, it just glues those two little tabs perfectly to the side. And there you have this adorable little box. 
Isn't that adorable? Then for the front of this, I have a piece of designer series paper. So you could cut any paper that you wanted. Um, but this designer series paper is cut three and seven eighths by one and one eighth. So it is a little bit of a more unique size, um, but it fits perfectly onto this little box. Okay. So here you have it. It fits just perfectly on here. And then it is going to hold these three adorable little Ghirardelli chocolates. Is that not adorable? Okay, to top it all off, oh, where did I put my snowman? I did have a snowman here, but I don't have it here now, but it's okay. You'll see it here on my samples. This is the Snowman Magic um, Bundle. So the Snowman Magic Bundle, I showcased a couple of, oh, thank you. Natalie just brought me one, so I have one. Okay, here it is all done up. Um, oh, that one doesn't have his little nose colored. Oh, okay, you forgot to color a nose because Kay made the snowman for me and dropped him off to my house today. Um, <laughs> I had the boxes made up, but she's um, made the little snowman for me. So um, on this one right here, you can see um, she also forgot to color the little hat, so I had to pick on her. But you can see that we tried to mimic the colors of the snowman on the packaging and that she just colored with one of our blends. Um, and that is the Snowman Magic Bundle that I showcased a couple weeks ago um, using some cards. And how adorable. That is just stuck onto my card or onto my project. Oh, and here's the red one. So you can kind of see the red one as well. And you can see here this one, she did some different hats. Cute, right? So have I changed any of your mind in wanting to get the Snowman Magic Bundle? Because this is so cool. Um, you could actually decorate the box anyway. I just, I really liked the idea of it all matchy-matchy. And those snowmen had the little scarf on them. So it made it really um, awesome for us to be able to use the, um, the Snowman Magic Bundle. So um, I'm using mini dimensionals on this one. Because I'm only going to put the dimensionals on the bottom part of my snowman so that it can kind of um, just go down there and be kind of um, loose up at the top. But look at how cute that project is. Um, now, if you wanted to, there's a couple different things you could do. You could take glue dots and put glue dots on the back of this and you could glue dot these right into this so they didn't fall out if um, you wanted to. Or you could actually put this in a clear cello bag and package it up in a clear bag um, and that way they'd be all confined to a certain spot. But isn't that adorable? I love that one. So um, again, and these are winter themed. So even if you don't give them out for um, for um, Christmas, you can give them out um, during the winter months as well. And um, they just make cute little cute little treat holders. Okay, isn't that cute? I know. Thank you guys. Okay. So, and again, I can't take full credit for this one. I did find it online, but it was so easy to do and I had to share it with you. Now, the last project I'm gonna be sharing with you, I'm gonna take a minute and get a drink. I hope you guys don't mind, sorry. But my last project, again, is not one of mine. And this person I do remember who did it, but she'd made it a different one a couple years ago. It is Julie Tamadio with the Paper Pixie. So I gotta give her a call out. Um, she made a project similar to this using um, this little snowman that we had a couple years ago. Um, and this does use the envelope punch board that I showcased a couple or last week. But this holds perfectly, check it out, one of the little Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers. How perfect is this? It's a cute little box made so simple. Again, it literally holds these perfectly. I use the gnomes and I just cut out the gnome with the gnome dies and use some of the gnome paper. Again, I use the balmy blue on this. Um, not the balmy blue, the Pacific Point. Sorry, Pacific Point. But I'm gonna show you how easy this one is to make. If I can remember, this one I made, gosh, like um, two weeks ago. So I have to kind of look at my directions again and remember how I did it. Um, but hopefully it'll come back to me as we get started. Okay, so I know that Stampin' Up! has retired their envelope punch board, but I kept mine because I use it all the time for projects for craft shows. I make cute little suckers with it, little envelopes, all kinds of stuff. So I refused to get rid of mine. Now I will tell you, 
Now this, that, the envelope punch board is available um, from many of the, um, you know, you can get it from Michael's, Joann's, online at Amazon has it. So you can still get your hands on an envelope punch board, which is why I decided to continue showcasing it and using it because I still think it makes some really cute projects. Thank you, Peggy. I know, aren't they cute? Great. These are great little stocking stuffers. Okay. So with that, you're going to start with a piece of your cardstock that is four and a half by four and a half. Now you're going to want to take out your little stylus that you have here. Okay. Um, so again, let me make sure you guys can still see these here because I want them there visible for all of you to see what we're making because they're so cute. All right. So four and a half by four and a half. You're going to start with your, you always start with this little um, ruler part right here. Okay. So we're going to start this at one and a half. So I'm going to move this to the one and a half inch mark right here. I'm going to punch and then I'm going to score it. Okay. And you just put this against that little um, part right here and you score right down. And then I'm going to move this down to two and three fourths, two and three fourths, and I'm going to punch it and I'm going to score it again. Okay. I'm going to turn it and I'm going to now use these lines right here as my guide. I'm going to line up this little pit tip right here with my score line on both of these lines. I'm going to punch and score. I'm going to move it down and I'm going to punch and score. I'm going to turn it again and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to line that up. I'm going to punch and score. Move it over. I'm going to punch and score. On this last time, the very first time, I'm only going to punch. I'm not going to score because this is going to be where I want the back of my thing. This one, I'm going to punch and then score. I'm hoping I did this right. Okay, I did. Woohoo! All right, so let me move this out. You're going to have all these little leftover pieces, right? No biggie. Okay, then you're going to fold this in on all of your score lines. I think I may have to cut something out of this if I remember. I'm not for sure now that I'm, oh, that one I'm not going to, cause that one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now that I think about this, I do have to cut something off. So this is going to be the top. This is going to be the top right here. So I'm cutting off this piece right here. Okay, I'm just going to cut this straight across like that. All right. And then from there, I knew something didn't look right. Like I said, I made all of these so long ago that I kind of forgot about that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fold these up. Oh, I do have to cut this up too. Forgot about that. Okay, so what you're gonna do then is you're gonna fold this up, glue this right here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive on this. Okay, so it's just gonna glue right here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive here. Do, do, do. Come on out. There we go. And you're going to make the box. Okay. Oops. And then this these are going to go in like that whoops i guess i got to hold it a little bit longer sorry everyone i'm getting too fast but i think you can kind of see how easy it is to tuck this all together okay let me hold that a little bit more and then we're going to put some adhesive on the top of these two flaps and then we're going to do a little bit on the this right here and it's all going to get tucked in okay so we're going to put some adhesive on here not a whole lot and then a little bit on this. And this is going to get tucked in like this. And you're just gonna hold it for a little bit. And voila, you've made a cute little box that will hold your hand sanitizer perfectly. So from there, you can decorate your little box any way that you want. Now, if you wanted to copy it the way I did, I have a piece of designer series paper that is cut five and a half by one and seven eighths. And all I did on this, so you can see I didn't use my scoring tool. On my sample ones, I actually used my scoring tool and got it all um, nice and um, 
cornered good. But again, for the video tonight, I didn't take the time to do that. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to put a little bit of adhesive on this. Um, and this I just literally, and it's easier to have a hand sanitizer in there when you do this because it makes the box a little bit harder so you can, um, can do this. Instead of trying to score this, I literally just wrapped it around, kind of made my own score marks as I went. Okay, but this is going to fit this perfectly. Again, and you don't have to have it be perfect. And then I just glued that around there. So I literally adhered um, a little bit of glue on the two sides, adhered it down, added my little um, gnome with a couple dimensionals, and that's it. Oh, thank you, Marsha. Yes, I got my nails done today. Aren't they cute? Look at the little reindeer. Um, anyway, so that is how I made these cute little gnome um, gnome holders. And the neat thing is, is that, you know, I, yes, it looks kind of, I wouldn't say different, but it's a unique fold in that you have the envelope look on the front. But because you cover it up with the designer series paper and you want to make sure that you have where you glue it together in the back so it's not visible. But you literally just the, glue this around. These were so fun to make. I did these um, um, sitting at my kitchen table one night because they were just so fun and I... Um, I had originally given Kay the, the um, hand sanitizers to do for me, and I told her I hijacked it. I saw this, and I decided I wanted to make them, so she had to bring me back the hand sanitizers. Oh, but trust me, they're not for lack of other things to make, but I just had a vision for these hand sanitizers and had to do them. So, um, yes, this paper is from the Gnome paper, Peggy. So it is part of the Gnome paper. You can see the little gnomes on the other side. And you can mix and match any of these papers that you want to make this cute little thing. Now, again, I cannot take credit for the design of this. Um, again, I went to Pinterest and I, or not Pinterest, I, just, I used Google and I searched for um, hand sanitizer holder Stampin' Up! And you'll get tons of ideas. Um, again, this was Julie DiMatteo with the Paper Pixie who created this project a couple years ago and used a different product and I just changed it out to use current product. Um, and yes, they do overlap a little bit on the back, Marsha. So yes, by about a half of an inch. So if you wanted to, you could cut it a little bit smaller, but I wasn't too worried about it. Um, and it will overlap here on the back. Okay. All right. So that is that project. Isn't it cute? So fun. Um, and one of the things I will always tell you, if you have an envelope punch board, always put back your little stylus into the holder when you're done because yours truly lost one. And I had to actually buy a second envelope punch board because I couldn't, well, I mean, I could have used a different one, but I got spoiled with having it right there at my fingertips. Okay, so that is that project. So those are my uh, my 3D projects that I wanted to share with you today. So let me, now um, there is, um, let me bring them in real quick so you can see them. And then I'm gonna show you guys for the last 20 minutes, a sneak peek of some of our new products. So let me bring all of these back in. Um, that I've created with you so you can kind of see them. I will be posting the measurements and you can always come back and refer to this video on how to put them together and actually make them um, if you need to. But here's the hot chocolate holders. There's my little um, gnome hand sanitizers. My little lipsticks, which are so cute. So, so cute. And then, oh, oh, and my, this is probably my favorite one, the cute little um, Ghirardelli snowman holders, okay? So those are the projects that I shared with you tonight. Um, again, all great stocking stuffers. All of these will be available for sale after my craft show. Now I will tell you, um, those of you that watch me regularly, if you guys know that you already want some of these, let me know and I'll, I'll be more than happy to save them out for you because we've made a ton of them. I've got a ton of these. I've got a ton. Of, I've got a lot. So if there's something that you really know that you might like. Let me know. I don't even have all the prices figured out yet. That's my to-do on the list tomorrow. So, um, but I do have them. <clears throat> I will figure them out and let you know. But anyway, I just got to figure out my cost of candy. And you know how all that goes to get the prices figured. Sorry, I had to get another drink. I had a little tickle in my throat. Okay. <clears throat> so with that, I'm going to move all these projects to the side. And who's ready to see a sneak peek of some new product from our upcoming catalog? Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Gail. I love them. They're so fun to do. Um, I just wish I had more time. That's my issue. I mean, I that's kind of why I do my, um, how I got started doing my craft show is that um, I wasn't quite as busy when I started doing craft shows with my business. And now that I'm a little bit busier with my business, um, it's harder and harder for me to, again, allocate my time, right? 
So that's been part of my struggle. Okay, so let's showcase some new products here for you um, that's coming in our new catalog. So next week, mark your calendar, next Thursday at 7 p.m. will be the complete sneak peek of all things new catalog <clears throat> that I purchased. But tonight um, I wanted to showcase just a quick handful of a couple things that I pulled out and some designer series paper. So. One of the things that I am in love with, I, I did have a, one bundle that I'm gonna share with you. Most of you know my story about the farm and that I grew up on a small dairy farm. So this right here uh, stole my heart instantly on the farm. I love it. And we now have chickens and there's a chicken in here, yay. Um, so anyway, um, this is on the farm and coordinating dyes. The dyes cut out all of the little, little animals and things like that. So this is one of the bundles that's available in the catalog. And then um, for your free celebration item, you can pick the Coordinating Farm Animal Designer Series paper. And this is so fun. So I do have it opened a little bit, so I'm gonna kinda go through it with you. Um, you can see it this way. And like I said, I'll showcase more of this later, but look at that beautiful plaid that screams farm, doesn't it? And this one's got all of your little animals. And I'm sure your dyes will cut these animals out, which is going to be amazing. So I'm really looking forward to that coordination of dyes. And then you have this one right here, which is gorgeous with the cows grazing and the sunflowers and the trees. And on the back, you have like um, a scene of like the, the trees in the forest. And then you have this one right here, which is just like red and white with your farm scene. I like that one too. So again, this is celebration paper. So this is what you would um, be able to get for free with a $50 qualifying order during celebration, which begins January 4th and goes through February 28th. Look at the baby chicks. Oh my God, Claire's gonna love that piece of paper. She hasn't seen it yet. She loves chickens. And then this one right here is gonna be great for like a scrapbook page. I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of got just a, it's a layout of like a farm scene. And then on the back, it has this beautiful blue. And then there you have your veggies, your farm veggies for farming here. And then the other side is just some yellow um, striped. So that is paper that you can get if you um, are into that. And that is going to be, I know for sure, a class that I'll be showcasing. Um, this next thing I'm gonna be showing you is a stamp set that you can get for free during celebration. And it's called the Adorable Owls. Look at how cute these owls are. I love it. Hoot, hoot, you're so cute. Oh, that's just so cute. Um, did you get my pun there? That's just so cute. Anyway, so <laughs> Adorable Owls is a stamp set that you can get for free during celebration. It can be one of your celebration picks. Um, and then this is um, an, a, a new alphabet that is coming out. So I was able to get my hands on this alphabet here. So let me show you the alphabet. Again, like I said, I most of what you're gonna see after this right here is just designer series paper. Um, I didn't wanna take it all the way on you from now, from next week when I do showcase everything. But this is a new alphabet die set. They're like really tall and skinny, but look at how cool they are. We need another, um, we need another, another um, set. Oh, Judy, you love the owls. You're gonna wanna get that stamp set. Um, but I love these, they're, not, they're a good size. They're probably about an inch and a quarter maybe, um, maybe an inch and a half. And they're just really, really cool. I like them. I feel like, whoops, you guys can't see them all. I feel like we needed these. They also have some numbers that go with them. So this is called the um, Alphabet a la Mode dies, okay? So excited to have those back. Marsha, you got your alphabet today, yay. All right, um, I love that one. And then I'm gonna show you guys some designer series paper. So this, there's a bundle out that's called By the Bay and it is beautiful. It's like got um, birds and stuff. Again, I'll showcase the whole thing next week, but I just wanted to show you a sneak peek of the designer series paper. This is six by six and what I love about this paper, so yes, I did peek at it, but can you see the shimmer in it? Look at that shimmer. So it's gorgeous paper for making cards that are like literally by the water kind of thing. Backside, you got some seashells. Um, you have this one right here again that also has some glimmer to it. Can you see that? It's just gorgeous. Um, on the back side of this one, you have that. So those two paired together would actually be gorgeous. Um, you have this one right here, which has got some gold in it and then just some waves. And let's see if I can pull out a couple more of these. 
Um, here you have this one with gold in it. And then the back side has some little, oh, look at all that. Isn't that cute? Oh, your fish. So yeah, this paper is gorgeous. Look at that. Ooh, wood grain. Goes great for, you know, by the lake. So yeah, this paper is just really, really pretty. There's some of the blue that has the little um, lines in it. So yeah. Anyway, you guys get the idea. That's all the paper. So this is called By the Bay. And then they have like an awesome stamp set coordinating dies. There's also a ribbon that coordinates with this. And I did pull that out last night before I, well, I was getting ready for my live and getting it set up. This ribbon is called um, Balmy Blue and White. But look at that. It's that variegated. A while back, we, remember we had variegated that was like petal pink and white? So this is blue and white. And it's gorgeous. So cannot wait to play with that one. So anyway, you'll see the whole bundle with this again next week. Got to keep you guys in suspense a little bit for fun things, right? All right, this next one that I'm going to show you is called Delicate Desert. And this paper does coordinate with the bundle from the, um, the new catalog. Um, so here's some of the designer series paper that goes with it. So de like desert themed, it's really, really pretty. Got some awesome different colors in here. And there's also like some glimmer, like a paper that's got some glimmer in it that goes with this, but I don't have it out right now. Some of the um, the dye or the, I think these iridescent pastel um, gems go with this product suite because they kind of have the same, same colors in them. And then there's this ribbon that goes with it as well. This ribbon is, um, what color is it? Pale papaya, it's like a velvet ribbon. So that will be fun to work with too, okay? Now this next um, two packs of paper that I'm gonna be showing you are celebration choices. So, and I'm loving, loving this one. So this one is called Dandy Designs and it is a big pack of paper. It is one of those ones like you would normally get kind of the cottage, um, the cottage paper from the um, holiday catalog. You get 48 pieces of 12 by 12 paper in this. Now, to, in order in order to get this big pack of paper, you do have to put in a hundred dollar Stampin' Up order. Um, so, you know, some of the celebration items are fifty dollars. A couple of them are a hundred. This item is a hundred dollars, and then you get this whole pack of paper for free. Um, but you have, let me pull this down a little bit so I can kind of show you guys. I'm going to move it this way so I can just kind of go through it this way. Um, but you have, let me pull it back in here. So you have this design with those flowers on the back. Um, that one. Look how pretty. This would make some really pretty um, like uh, spring themed cards. Looking at these patterns in here. You have some purple. Oh, look at those two paired together. Even those two paired together. I am loving this. So th I have not looked at all this paper. Me looking, I opened them up, but I did not um, peek through all of this paper. So me looking at it with you right now is my first take on it too. So I'm going, ooh and ah, right along with you. Um, oh, I like that one. I really like plaid. Oh, that one's pretty. Look at the um, the purple. So lots of purples. Where's my purple people? I know Courtney's watching. Not sure if Carol is, but Carol and Courtney, I know, are two of my purple people. So, ooh, some pretty blues as well. So if you're a blue person, there you go. This paper's calling your name. So they're kind of the same patterns, just different colors of the patterns, which, oh, those two look really pretty together. So sorry, I'm getting ideas, you guys, as I'm thinking of different things I can do with this. So you'll be seeing this paper in some projects, I'm sure, okay? So this, again, this paper is 48 pieces, and you get it for free during celebration. Um, is it Fresh Freesia? Let me tell you, I can tell you what colors are in this. Um, it is. So it's Balmy Blue, Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, Fresh Freesia, Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody, and Petal Pink. So those are the colors in that one, Courtney. Yes, I love it. Okay. This is also an um, item that you can get for free during Celebration. So, so far I've showcased three papers from Celebration. And there's actually, I think, one or two more. I showcased the farm paper. I showcased that great big paper pack. This one is called Dainty Flowers. And um, there is a, um, there is a um, do, 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 stamp set and dies that coordinate with this. This is also free during Celebration. So um, I'm just going to, so this one, oh, on this one, this one for the purple is, 
Fresh Freesia as well. So Fresh Freesia is going to be our color um, for the spring, I think, right? All right, so this one has, um, and that just has like, oh, that's pretty, like the watercolor look and some blotches. Um, and this one right here is one of those where you can cut it in half and then you have these different pieces to make simple cards. I like that. That's become quite popular. The back has just some green. Here, let me do it this way. I think I can control it better this way. Um, and then, oh, I like this. So this is designed for you to use those as card fronts, like a five and a quarter by four or five by three and three fourths. And then that you could also cut and use like on a scrapbook layout or whatever. That is going to be awesome to use. Put your sentiment on the inside, add some ribbon maybe that goes swish, swish, swish. You know how I do that. You guys get my swish swishes, right? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kind of brainstorming in my head of different things that I can do with this paper as I'm looking through it. That's kind of how my brain works. Um, and then you have this. Oh, that's just simple and pretty, too. I like that one. Um, there's a fresh. Oh, Carol is watching. Yay. I just mentioned you, Carol, about being my purple person, you and Courtney. Um, and then you have this one. Um, I can tell you that, that this is a, a class that I'm going to be, one of the classes I'm designing first is one of these with this dainty stuff because I just love it. I'm a floral person. I like anything floral. So for me, it's spot on um, with, isn't this one pretty though? That's a lot of purple flowers in that too. Love it. Oh, good. You did hear me. Okay. So anyway, oh, and there's my pink. There's my pink. So this paper pack, again, this one is free with a $50 order. Um, you have Blushing Bride, Crushed Curry, Fresh Freesia, Mossy Meadow, Old Olive, Rich Raspberry, and Starry Sky. Okay. So that is um, another paper that you can get for free during celebration. So the last thing that I pulled out of my box to share with you. Now, this is not a celebration paper. This is just some fine shimmer paper. Um, and again, I was in a hurry last night. It was late last night when I was setting up for my live for all of you today. And so I just, and I knew I wouldn't have time to do it all. My plan was to do more of it. And I'm like, I just know I won't have the capacity. So I chose to just do some paper. Um, so here you have some glimmer paper. Yes, that's purple. Um, I don't know how well you guys can see it on my camera, but there's three different colors. Oh, Courtney, your December card challenge is going to be posting probably tomorrow. It is actually being um, made tonight. I, I have everything out to make it right after my Facebook Live. And the winner of November will be posted tomorrow as well. Um, I am on the ball this month. Like I have all of my December, December classes marketed and ready to go. Like I'm ready for my little bit of a break in the, between the holidays. So I am like trying really hard to keep up with everything right now. Um, but this glimmer paper, you get um, those three different colors. And the colors are um, Fresh Freesia, Soft Succulent, and Gold. Um, and they're, it's gorgeous, 12 by 12, a very soft feeling um, shimmer paper. Um, and you get, this has, um, how many pieces? Six pieces, so you get two of each color. So that is some um, beautiful shimmer paper in those three colors. And I know it goes with another product suite, um, but you'll see the rest of um, next week. So next week, I will not be showcasing any projects. I'm going to be just showcasing all new stuff. And I'll be honest with you, part of the reason is because, well, one, I want to share new projects or new products, but I won't have time to really do much creating this weekend because I'll be at my craft show on Saturday. And then Sunday, I'm volunteering for um, my whole day almost for the Nutcracker. So part of the, um, the thing is we have to, as parents um, who have kids in the Nutcracker, we have to donate some of our time um, to the production. And I, I'd rather donate my time on helping them with costumes and helping them with get things ready than actually giving my time up when the production starts. Because I have family and friends that come and watch my girls. And I like to be there and sit with them. So that's my weekend this weekend. And that's when I normally design my projects for you. So I was like, oh, it's going to work out perfect for me to share with you guys um, all the new things that um, I, I have um, coming and show you guys a glimpse of that. And again, if you do not get your new catalog by December 30th and you've ordered with me in the last month, because sometimes, um, sometimes the company, you know, I have them coming to you from the company and sometimes they either get lost or it just takes way too long. And I don't want any of you to not have one. Um, all of you that are local to my classes as well, you're getting one in the mail, okay? It's just easiest for me to do it that way so I don't miss anyone. Um, but if you don't get it, please let me know because I don't want any of you without a catalog. All right, so there you have it. All of my cute little projects that I shared with you tonight. Um, I'll be posting the measurements for these projects so that you can duplicate.
replicate these in your own for your own needs as well. Um, the or I don't have an actual ordering promotion tonight because Stampin' Up's done an ordering promotion for me. Check out the clearance rack. Um, anybody who does, they'll put in an order from now through Sunday. You will receive in the mail some um, handmade cards from me for free. Um, but I'm like, I can't beat what Stampin' Up is offering. The clearance rack has a refresh and it is amazing. And it's also the last chance products for um, anything that's, I posted on, about that as well with a list for you to look at. Um, and those supplies, in our in our holiday catalog are now while supplies last so if you wanted any paper or anything like that i encourage you to get it sooner than later all right so with that i am going to sign off for the night thank you all so very much for joining me tonight and letting me share with you some more projects that i've made again these will all be for sale um i know i'll have things left over because i over made i'm sure if there's anything that you know that you would like to purchase please let me know and I will save them for you. Um, I'm also going to be taking pictures of them all and posting them early next week. All right. Thank you, everyone, so very much for joining me tonight. Have a great weekend, and I will see you all back here next Thursday for a sneak peek at all of my new goodies. Bye, everyone.